Before starting this or any other workout or diet regimen, you should always consult your physician. Your personal health and safety is our biggest concern. Biceps are actually only about 33% of the arm, and the rest of the arm is actually made up by the tricep. And it's often neglected, but it really is very important in a lot of the pressing movements and the pushing movements. And if you really want to have nice arms that look good, both from the front and also to add dimension to the rest of your body, you really have to do triceps. So if you want to have this, you got to do these. That's the bottom line. Let me show you how to do one arm tricep extensions. I like to do them on the bench like this. As a matter of fact, this is the only exercise, aside from a couple of legs exercises, where it's actually okay to extend your arm completely. I'm actually going to keep this arm here on the tricep and I'm going to brace my arm with it. And I'm going to lower the weight to the opposite side of my chest and then extend my arm completely. It's a very, very simple movement, but the hard part is actually keeping the arm straight and not doing this or this. This is how we do the tricep extension. At the top of the exercise, we actually extend as far as we can go and that should flex the tricep. My hands, although I'm holding the weight very securely, is relaxed. My hand is very relaxed. This arm is just for guidance and I'm letting the weights come down, not letting it touch my chest so there's still tension and sort of a stretch in the tricep and then extending up just like that. Now, we're going to do a change up on this exercise too. The change up looks like this. And you would not believe how this feels after doing several repetitions this way. You should actually be moving the weights slowly and under control. However, once you start fatiguing the muscle and you recognize exactly where it is, then you can start pumping iron, if you will. Once you feel very secure in how you're moving the weights, you can actually start picking up the momentum to about one and a half times the speed you were using before. and then my change up. This is what it looks like. I like to do this exercise first because it's a very sharp movement. It involves flexing the tricep independent from the weight. And if I get my other tricep exercises going, I'm really not going to have that same kind of sensation because my triceps are gonna be so filled up and so feeling so powerful, I'm not gonna really be able to make that superior connection of extending my arm completely once they're exhausted. So I wanna do this exercise first. Most folks in this field would do this exercise last, but I want you to trust me on this. If it doesn't work for you, you can try it last, but I believe it's a good exercise to start off first.